This video is about money and the many changes and many faces that it has had. I don't have one to show you offhand, but you'll have to take my word for it. The first one would be the gold backed dollar, where you could exchange the note, the physical note, for an equal amount of weight in gold. Then it was changed to the silver dollar, the silver certificate. And we'll show you right here. It says at the top, silver certificate. You could exchange this for an equal amount of silver. Then we got off the silver and gold standard and went to the United States note. So this is just basically backed by the United States, uh, like a bond, essentially. And um, this was, uh, yeah, 1963. The silver certificate was 1957 on this one. And shoot, now we uh, don't have anything backing it except for the trust and the United States government and the military. Federal Reserve note. This is non-exchangeable for anything other than debt to the Federal Reserve for, from the fractional, fractional reserve banking system that was created at Jekyll Island. And you can see they tried to change it up a little bit and put uh, some pieces of metal through here and still the same. There, there's nothing backing this. So what some people are trying to do is get creative. Now they're coming along with things like this where there's physical gold-backed cash, gold-backed notes, excuse me. So each one of these, um, well, particularly this one here, you can see that it is a tenth of a gram of gold. That's physical gold embedded on to this note here. And you can verify it with this uh, certificate number right here. So you could go on to Carrot Bank. Um, Carrot Pay is, is the company that is producing these here. And you can and you can verify the the amount that is on here, and you can see that right here there's a warranty of certi certification, and it equals this much gold. And you know here's just another denomination of it, so here is six tenths of a gram of gold. Carrot pay, yeah, these were d designed in uh, 2016. And I was just recently at a blockchain uh, convention in San Francisco, and I was I was introduced to this thing, which is um, this is a physical representation of of a of a cryptocurrency. It is backed on the Ethereum platform by a smart contract, and each one of these notes is backed by the Kong currency here. And you can scan right around here. There's an NFC scanner. And this will come in and verify the smart contract and the amount that uh, the amount or value that is locked up into the smart contract. And these ones don't um, these aren't released actually until October 2022. But there's a little microchip on here. I think that's just kind of for looks or something. I mean, obviously it's uh, the electronic part of this where you can verify it. But it uh, seems like if you throw that through the wash, it might get a little might get a little messed up. But yeah, so here's what uh, here's what Kong is trying to do. Kong container notes backed by the Kong cryptocurrency. Each note embeds a smart contract registered secure element. Scan notes via the NFC to verify the authenticity and stored Kong value. So there you have it, the many phases. So if you think that your good old dollar is still going to be around. Think again. I mean, do you still listen to an 8-track? Do you still listen to records or cassette tapes? How about a CD? Oh, maybe an MP3. Hmm. Well, the choice is yours. Stick with this stuff that will lose value and have nothing backed by it, or get some physical gold. Or a smart contract. Or a cryptocurrency that's embedded by smart contracts. It's your choice.